idea of busting up my act. Oh. Why, Muti, I'm a new man. Haven't you heard about the wonderful thing Dr. Weston did for me? He pepped up my pulse, gave me a set of vocal cords. You ought to see him. Take it from me, you'll never land a job the way you are. Let's go. Here we are. Hello, Toki. What's on your mind now? Doc, my old friend Muti wants you to put him through the works. Why, man, you still run on 60. We'll have to pep you up to 90. Open your mouth. Yeah. Okay, come right along with me. Now, Talkie, let's put on an act. Permit him follow us through. which is taking pictures through this window. We use a soundproof booth. When it's closed, it keeps the camera noise away from the microphone. The camera is operated by a motor which runs at exactly the same speed as the motor in the sound machine. Whew, it's hot in this booth. Let's get out on the set again, and I'll show how the sound is picked up by the microphones on the stage. Sound waves are picked up by this wonderful mechanical ear, the microphone, which is really a glorified telephone transmitter. This microphone changes the sound waves into electrical vibrations, which are amplified here and sent along these wires to the mixer room. The sounds from the stage microphones are mixed here so that the natural for the action in the production. Mr. Mixer sees the actors through this window and hears them only through this horn. Now that we've got the sound right, I'll show you how it's amplified. Get ready. The power from the microphones is amplified about 10 million times by these vacuum tubes, making the voice current strong enough to operate the machine that photographs the sound. Do you follow me? This is the machine that is used to record the sound on film. 
this sound film is traveling at the same rate of speed as the picture film in the camera booth. The light valve has two thin metal strings stretched across this tiny slit. On one side of the slit is a strong light, while on the other is a film, moving at exactly the same speed as the picture camera in the studio. The greatly amplified voice currents passing through these tiny light valve strings move them to closer together or further apart, thus changing the size of the slit. Therefore, the light varies as it passes through this rapidly changing opening, leaving a true photographic record of the voice currents on the film. Simple, isn't it? Huh? Now let's look at the films after they've been developed. Well, here we are. Here are our two negatives developed. The next step is to print these two negatives onto a third piece of film. We'll print the sound record first, and then the picture record. Here we have a completed sound print, and we are now ready for projection. This is the picture and sound projector. One motor drives both the picture and sound equipment. You see? Let me illustrate this with a simple diagram. This lamp illuminates the soundtrack on the film. The light from the lamp passes through the slit, throwing a very narrow line of brilliant light on the soundtrack. As the film runs past this light, the marks on the soundtrack cause the light to increase and decrease. This light, in turn, causes the current through the photoelectric cell to increase and decrease, thus reproducing the electric vibrations first created by the sound waves. The current from the photoelectric cell is pepped up by the amplifier, and then this amplified current is carried by wires along through the theater and down to the screen on the stage to connect with the loudspeakers. This is a typical layout of the stage set with two horns behind the screen. The receivers connected to the horns convert the electrical vibrations back into sound waves exactly the way the telephone receiver operates, so that while the picture is being shown, the sound which was recorded is reproduced in step with the picture. The screen is full of small holes so that the horns may be placed behind the screen to let the sound through. This gives the illusion that the sound is coming from the image of the speaker. Talkie, there goes your cue. You're next on screen, while Mutie can go try on his new voice. Okay. Just a song and <laughs> Let me into that machine. No, you can't go on now. Tucky's doing his stuff. I can't, eh, Professor? Well, you just watch me. Look here, Smarty. If you must stay on the screen with me, suppose we get together with a little close harmony. What do you say? Good night, ladies. Good night, ladies. Good night, ladies. 